Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trufin at the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to Sekiro. Uh, we're still at the Hirata estate and trying to work our way up. We died a lot to a shinobi hunter that was in our way blocking this gate. But it appears like we're, well, more home free than we were before. We can actually go to the sides here. And there's a few guys up front and I start to feel just reviewing the footage that I need to be a bit more aggressive in my playstyle especially against those bosses because I felt like the uh, the hunter got the upper hand because I kept letting his posture recover while I maybe should try to get a few hits in while uh, he's trying to recover his posture instead so just to break that down a bit better so there we go this guy is down, and then this guy... Oh! Okay, burn! There we go, that's the first time we actually got that. This guy's a lot more aggressive than the other guys. So, if I just go into the menu... Can I actually just use that from here? There we go. Okay. So, that's the first time I got the burn status effect. It just continuously... Oh, oh, there's not an archer up there. There we go. There we go. Got him from the grappling point. That was awesome. Now there is this higher ground here. And there's a few items in here. So more dowsing powder. I have plenty of that because I keep getting, uh, kept getting that from those uh, torch wielding guys. On the way to the shinobi hunter con continuously. So... That should be fine. We have another bridge and there seems to be a big dude on the bridge. That doesn't seem like a normal enemy. And I feel like the currents might be too strong to actually get into the water here. Although... There are multiple enemies over there. So if I just stay crouched, so there's a torch wielding guy that can see me over there. But I think I can actually, there we go, kill that guy, then swap, there we go, just getting into the rhythm a bit, and then ducking down again. Would have missed these guys on the side here if it wasn't for those vantage points, and oh, looks like they've murdered a lot of people down here as well. A bit of visual storytelling. I don't think this guy can actually see me. Almost had him there. Something else pulled at me. Yeah, there we go. Oh. There we go. And then this guy. I uh, think that gives me, yeah, a moment to drink from the healing board. Because that was, yeah, those were three archers just waiting for me to uh, get into their way. Probably an easier way to deal with that, those than to just rush in like I did. So. There's two dudes. Oh, there's another archer over there. And then a very, very, uh, how do I put this? Corpulent man. There we go. That takes him out. But now, that big guy. I don't see how I sh would be able to... Ooh, and there's even two more guys behind him with a shield. Oh! That hurt. That hurt. Okay, so this guy is coming. Oh! Probably should jump poo for that. There we go. There we go. He's recovering from whatever he just did. Ow! Okay, that killed me outright. I was trying to jump over here, but he held that for so long. That was ridiculous. And there we go. 
taken care of. So now I can swap back to the court and drink a bit. I have the loaded axe equipped, so these guys should not be a problem. There we go. And then the final guy with the shield that I almost took out before any of this started. And I just backstab him. Don't even need the loaded axe for that. So, seems like I have my secondary resurrection available as well. If I want to, now that I've killed a few more enemies. Because I think they do that to avoid you using your resurrection twice during the same boss battle. You need to kill something in between to have that secondary charge on the bottom left actually activate. So yeah, I feel like with those big guys, I I don't dare deflect any of those blows because just they, they feel so heavy that I wouldn't be able to block any of that. Now, we went through a lot of enemies to get here, but this seems to be the estate itself. Just gonna see if I can find some sort of shortcut. Seems to be something over here at least, but... Ooh, wait, isn't that the guy that isn't that our mentor from at the beginning of the game just gonna have a little chat with him hello father uh, it's you i'm afraid i made a bit of a blunder perhaps the years have finally caught up with me ah. don't bother tending to my wounds no point <clears throat> it's too late Take this. The hidden temple key, the key to the hidden temple in the Hirata estate given by the owl. The secret temple is located in the very back of the Hirata estate. Two, the lord is absolute. Defend him with your life. If he is taken, bring him back at any cost. So, our mentor's name is the owl. The key to the secret temple in the estate mansion. You'll find him. The divine heir. Going through the front is not an option. You'll never get past the fire. Yes, sir. Perhaps the cliff's just outside of here. Yes. Return to the estate entrance. You look for a side route along the cliffs. Take the back entrance through the cemetery. That's your way in. Understood. Wolf, never forget the Iron Code. Yes. The Master is absolute. Wolf. Protect your master with your life. <laughs> okay, so it feels like he's dying, yeah. So the owl is dead. Our father is dead. Wait, what what the hell just happened? Did that mean Ooh. So I can't get back anymore. Look at this area. I mean, I'm just I'm just standing in the middle of a of a veritable inferno, just taking it all in. This looks amazing. Just the fire, this entire place on set ablaze. It looks really, really cool. So, let's go up there. I wonder how he got out of this, because this is it's of course three years ago when he wouldn't have had this grappling hook before then. Going higher. So I all said we needed to get back to where we came from and then look for a route along the cliffs. So that seems to be something. So I'm just gonna hang from here and drop down. This seems to be accessible. And there's, yeah, we can go from shrine to shrine. Just looking around if I don't miss anything. Um, I'm guessing I can run across though. Okay. No biggie apparently. Thought I was gonna die for that. Is that rope look like I could get across there? But apparently not. Okay, so moving my way back up. Fine. I came from a, a high place. Um, where are we now? There's definitely dudes here. Just gonna get my pallet ready. Is there just this one guy? I feel like there might be more. Well, at least this guy won't tell. And I saw another one over here, so... Oh! Let's not eavesdrop that! Okay, 
Okay, no need to make this any harder than it should be. Oh, I'm circled. Oh, I'm circled. Okay, so... Yeah, and I died. Okay. I can resurrect, right? Yeah, I can resurrect. But I need to be careful about this. Yeah, I took too many guys on at the same time. There we go. And then this guy taken out as well. But now I'm completely out of resurrections. So I need to be extremely careful now. And I'm out of health and everything as well. So, can I actually go back? Don't think I can go back. I have no other place to go as far as I can see. So there's a cave over here, but of course... Yeah, this guy... Seems to... No business. There we go. Just relentless attacking. And that's just oil. So sadly, no. Where does this lead? Seems like I can... Oh, I can wall jump. Where the hell am I now? This doesn't look like a good place to be. So oil and... Oh! Oh! That's a good... That's a good thing. An idol. Well then. Don't mind if I do. Just rest at that. Just rest at that. I wanna... Just bank everything. There we go. Um, now what can we do here? Can we acquire... I think I needed two skill points for what I wanted. No, three even for the, the upgrade for the Mikiri counter. Not that I'm using it all that much, but I feel like I should be getting better soon. Um, and that's pretty much it over here. Can I get higher? Because this is still the estate. What happens if I go down here? Oh, I do take damage. I do take fall damage. That is interesting. And then ring around the rosy. Should be able to backstab this guy. There we go. Or something like that. Something like that, at least. Now, was there anything else I missed here? Or did I just do this again for no reason whatsoever? I think I did that for no reason whatsoever. So let's just head in the cave again. So, now that we know that that was useless, I might as well just rest at the Sculptor's Idol again. And get, well, investigate this area. I don't know where this is actually going to lead. This is closed off. But I must be able to get higher here, I suppose. Seems to be the void of enemies for now, which kind of makes sense. I wouldn't just stick around the place. I actually sat on fire. Never mind. Take that back. There we go. And he goes down. And then we have a whole bunch of normal dudes. So, okay, so it's literally a sea of fire. But we can go across the rooftops if we want to. Which kind of makes sense. But if I'm able to take these guys out from a distance, especially the guy with the axe, that would be nice. Because the archer is really close as well now, so we can take him out immediately. And then the torch guy just hasn't noticed me yet. So if I just slowly take a look around. There we go. And those guys must have noticed me now. And then the archer is just folded as well. Just, just die. Just die. Don't need to finish you off fancy every single time. So then, another ceramic shard in the water, that is useless. But there might be a carp in this bit of water. We can actually just cross the water easily and get to the other side as well. Don't know if there's anything of note here. Might as well take a look around. So there's at least one guy over there. They're looking at each other, but I can kill this guy easily. And just take him out before he can alert anybody else. 
There we go. And another coin purse. So we're on the outside of the courtyard. But I feel like visibility is good for the enemy here. Just gonna try and avoid as much enemies I, as I can. Although that seems to be a fog. Do I want to try and take these guys out? Oh, wow. Okay. That's a drunk man. The drunkard. They talked about him before. I'm just going to leave. Jesus Christ. Is this guy still following me? He was big. He's not just drunk. He's incredibly big as well. Uh, can I get... Okay, so only that guy saw me, so if he wants to get over here, that's fine by me. Okay, for some reason that didn't do anything. The drunkard is still in my sights. And I feel like this guy might need some... Uh... Oh, what the hell is that? That doesn't look good. Ooh, he's poisoning his sword. Okay. So no dodging. Oh, there's a an archer over there as well. I'm gonna kill the archer first. Okay, there's the... Oh, I need to deflect instead of... Ooh, that's actually poison. And that took half my health bar. Oh, that was a sweep. Oh, that was a sweep. Okay. Resurrect? Resurrect. Of course we will. I'm just gonna go over here for a second. Heal up. And that took again half my health bar. Whew. Okay, so deflecting is working a bit, but I need to be more careful when I do that. So let's go back to the idol and retry that. Problem is that he's surrounded by a boatload of guys that I don't really like to fight every single time. The archer saw me already, which is great. Oh! So, Archer taken down first. Oh, there's one more. Ooh, bop, bop, bop. So, just take care of him. Okay, so there's multiple guys. Can I take out at least... There we go. Oh! Ah, damn it, I hit the fire. Seriously. Ah, there goes my first healing item. Okay, well, I guess it's good to practice anyway. Don't run into the fire again. I feel like there need to be there needs to be a better way to reach that guy than this, I would think. Might as well just take this guy out with a sneaky, sneaky attack. There we go. And take a look around in the neighboring buildings. We know the drunkard is over there, so that is fine. 
but maybe these items can help. Divine confetti, confetti imbued with a divine blessing made for driving away apparitions. The paper is made ceremoniously, whereby pulp is spread thin using water from the exalted fountainhead. As the gods bless the water, so too will the confetti bless one who basks in its touch, allowing attacks to connect with apparition-type enemies. Interesting. So, apparition-type enemies, meaning ghosts, I presume. It seems to be a pretty large building that they just murdered everybody in. Need to be careful that I don't get ambushed by a hidden enemy here. Everything seems to be fine, but everything seems to be raided as well. So back into the water. I should probably try and take out most of the enemy. Wait, this guy looks like he's normally dressed. Hello? Sir? You've done well to come this far. For a rogue, you are a worthy shinobi. My duty is to protect the young lord, Lord Kuro. Lord Ishin would never forgive me should I fail. Let us fight together! Oh, we have... Okay, we have an ally. I'm just gonna take out the archers first then. So that's one archer. There we go. Keep an eye on everybody here. Oh god! And there we go! Just take out the royal guard. Then! Maybe fire will help against this guy? I have no idea what to do. I think he killed... Oh, he killed my ally. He did, right? Yeah, he's gone. He's gone. Definitely gone. Let's get out of the way. And he doesn't like fire, it seems. Oh god! Yeah, I tried to dodge that, but... Gold hit! Yeah, and I died. So, that ally is interesting. But not something I'll be able to use rather quickly, I think. I'm wondering if I can actually get a stealth attack in on this guy before we do anything else. He's still following me. And there's more enemies over here, so just gonna head back and try this again. Because of course every time I rest I get my skill points uh, kind of banked. So in the next run I should be able to uh, get that Mikiri upgrade. Not that I'll be able to use it in that fight, I think. So I think I can actually crawl through the rooftops here rather quickly. But then that still doesn't really help me out. Because yeah, it just ends over here and it's... Yeah, that guy is back, so I can still get his help. But... I mean, he didn't last long, did he? Nevertheless, I won't stop uh, help from people from helping me out. So let's just get to his dialogue. And go over here. Oh god! <laughs> Fuck me! Oh god, I got poisoned a bit. And I still need to heal. There we go. Did they kill the other guy? No, he didn't. So I think, yeah, he's still focused on me. Oh, that was a swipe. Should have checked that out.
There we go. Ah, it should have jumped. Saw that in time, but didn't react in time. I'm in the poison, but I think I'm pretty much invulnerable doing this. Okay, deflected that almost perfectly, but I need to be careful because I can't resurrect anymore. So together with my buddy, we got this. Just guard to get my posture back. Oh, that's... that's stuff. That's a grab. That can retaliate on that. And that's another grab, and that's usually followed up by a slash. Come on, buddy. Oh, he's getting attacked in the back. That's not good. There we go. That's the first bar down of Jizu the Drunk. That's the grab. Just need to be careful. Oh, he's down. Okay. So now it's all up to me. Now it's all up to me and we have two enemies. That's so good. Oh, that's a, a breath. So quickly take him out. There we go. He's just punching me again. Just deflecting, deflecting. Oh, that hit me. That hit me. Oh, I think I got my posture broken there. Come on. Yeah, I died. Okay. Ooh, I think I, I think I can do this. I was almost there. Just needed to focus a bit more. I got pushed back. Mug, 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 mug. He's gonna try and do that. Oh, oh! That was a sweep. Damn it. Almost had him. Almost had him. Ah, that's a sweep again. I keep missing that sweep. If he keeps his hand on his blade, it's a sweep. And I keep missing it. Oh! Okay. Just didn't get a deflect in there. I saw it coming, but... Okay. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Oh, he killed me. In one hit. With half my health, of course, but god damn it. Oh, just, just got immortality there. That's jump. And there we go. First health bar down. We can heal up in between. Just calm down. Oh, that's a sweep. Oh. Ah, punch in the face. Three, two, 
Oh, that was a backhand. And that went to two thirds of my health. And that to jump. Dodge that, need to dodge that, need to dodge that. That's dodge, that's block. Oh! I think I got him, I got him, yes! Bye, you fucking drunkards! Eat it! Unrefined sake, a bottle of cloudy unrefined sake. Yes, I've earned that at least. God damn it, give me that. That was awesome. Okay. Ooh, I'm getting a feel for the combat system. This is cool. Once you get a feel for it, it's really, really exhilarating. Sake is a drink meant for sharing. This cloudy sake is one of Ishin Ashina's favorite. It has a rich, full-bodied flavor. On the other hand, it has a reputation for getting one too drunk too quickly. And we get another prayer beat, and now we have three of those. Oh. Okay. Well, that was hard. Let's get the coins that are uh, scattered across the battlefield here. And go into this building. Because that was one hell of a fight. I'm guessing we're gonna get... Uh, Skeptic's Idol really quickly. Or not. Anybody? Do I have any pallets? Just gonna take a pallet. Just to my good health. Ooh, is there anything? No, just hug wall. Okay. I'm gonna stay stealthy because everybody still seems to be dead inside of this place. Yeah, yeah, still enemies. Still enemies. But there is a sculptor's idol in the back there. But how? Wait, what? <laughs> and there we go. And then let's take out the archer as well. Now we know how to be a shinobi. Just be really, really aggressive. So let's pick that up and we get more oil. Oil! Plenty of oil. Seems like I should be able to use that rather soon. Then we got more dowsing powder. Yeah, mostly useless items actually. Well, not useless, but not something I will be using soon. And I think, yeah, there's somebody kneeling here. There's somebody still alive. Hello? might need you, Rogue Shinobi. Go to him, will you? We will, but she still seems to be terrified, even though we just kind of saved her ass. <gasps> Horrible. Dreadful. It won't stop pouring out. The young master is Rogue Shinobi. It won't stop pouring out. What is she talking about? Because that sounds horrible. And this feels like we're heading towards... I would say another boss fight, but we just had kind of a boss fight. Well, let's commune with the Sculptor's Idol. And rest. We still can't do anything, although we do have a lot of skill points. We can do something with that, so let's just check that out. Uh, I feel like we're going to need it, the Mikiri counter. So, increases the damage inflicted to posture upon executing a successful Mikiri counter. So let's purchase that. And then we get Shadow Rush. Unleash a long-range, powerful trust, then use the impaled opponent as a platform to vault into the skies. That sounds 
also that is wow that is that sounds really cool and that may be the whirlwind slash as an extra so i can get going along this skill tree here so let's just purchase that as well Mid-air deflection allows one to guard against or deflect enemy attacks in mid-air. Guns and other projectile weapons deal additional damage to airborne targets, and this technique can serve to prevent that damage. A shinobi is not shot down so easily. That sounds cool. And then Karma Body increases the maximum number of spirit emblems that can be held. Seems fine. And then we can do that again. Mid-air combat. Ooh. Form combat arts while in mid-air. Then latent skill, breath of life, light, recovers vitality upon performing a successful death blow. That is cool. Death blows provide Shinobi with an opportunity to breathe. A shinobi can calm the body and mind through measured breathing even while killing. Doing so allows one to continue killing unabated. So that would really fit into my playstyle that I just used against the, against the drunkard as well. But uh, okay, that's that. And with that I'm going to take a little break. So we had our massive fight in the Hirata estate and uh, seems we need to head forward into the estate itself and yeah we'll see what we'll find out there so thank you guys normally for watching this episode of my playthrough of Sekiro and hope to see you guys in the next episode thank you very much for watching goodbye